they will do limnum, so be careful they don't get too close to you. And just keep on charging, let them keep on coming. Now if you get close enough, you're going to spawn the mages, so be very careful right there, spawn the mages. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to use, you know, see the power of the windmill shuriken. It came out, God, it just rips them apart. Love that. And the windmill shuriken, at least when I was doing this here, auto-targeted the, the mages first, which was nice. And so when the major here, just use windmill shirk and I'll take them out. There. Counterattack you. Why, why, why you? I tried to OT them. Didn't work. Okay. Take care of those mages. Simple as that. Barely get touched except for the one time when I did a windmill shirk and UT. And I got hit with a mage projectile. One of the limitations of the windmill shirk and UT is that you're not immune. There's no iframes during any projectile UT. Okay, next one coming up is pretty easy. I'm going to show you a tactic that worked pretty well for me. Just start charging here. And, oh, a little bit forward. Okay. Start charging here. The archers can't hit you, but your scythe UT will just start taking them out. Just keep on charging, releasing, charging again, and releasing until the IS ninjas get past your scythe UT. What kind of a barricade? And this way you'll take out the archers pretty easily. You won't have to worry about the archers just snapping all over the place. Um, just keep on doing this, like I said, until the IS ninjas get past. And they can get past because a scythe UT does not kill them all with one UT. The other thing you want to look out for is you want to watch out for if you get tagged with incendiary shurikens. That's why I stopped doing that UT and jumped away because I saw a little sparkler of an incendiary shuriken. And I tried to get it and throw him into the rock to deliver him. That didn't work. He just kind of slid across it. Okay, last guy. Here we go. X, X, forward, X, X, hold Y, and there we go. River 6 drop. Awesome move with the scythe. Unfortunately, the camera did not capture it well. Let's go on to the next fight. Just start the fight up here. Try to do a windmill shuriken UT. It does work. It just wasn't work this this time. I didn't want to sit here doing it over and over again. Whereas scythe UT will just rip these guys apart. And you gotta be careful because sometimes they will jump up and be able to hit you. So you gotta watch them if they're jumping up. Most of the times they won't. So you can sit up here and do scythe UTs if you want. It makes it easier. Or you can just jump down there and fight them normally, however you want to proceed. But again, I'm very low on items, so I want to get as quickly to this Muramasa shop as I can to restock my items. Now, back behind this Muramasa shop, I'm just double checking that there's no no more enemies. Here we go. Here's a dead body with another grain on it. So I'm going to go completely restock a Muramasa shop, max out everything I have. I have so much essence from this chapter, it's not even funny. So now I'm maxed out. I've got my lunar regular shurikens equipped, and I've got the, still have the wind blades nimpo. The th level three wind blade nimpo is my default go-to nimpo here. It's kind of a I consider it a get out of jail free. If you're ever running into problems or getting surrounded, you wind blades nimpo will just work wonders and just rip everybody apart. Okay, you can see I've switched over to the inferno nimpo. I've made a decision here. That was the last save before the the boss, and because of the way I'm recording, I'm recording off of Ninja Cinema, and I cannot record it, do any continues after bosses with Ninja Cinema, which means all the gauntlets have to be redone. I made the decision to just go spam happy on Nimpo for this fight. This fight, first thing you do is you get rid of this damn archer right here, and then you stay with that, where that archer is. If you stay where that archer is, the other archers way across the other side have a huge time, a huge difficulty time hitting you. So I'm just going to keep on doing, show you a couple different techniques. Scythe UTs work well. If limp or Lunar again, like we've done many, many times before, just keep on doing this. It's just, there's so many of these dogs, it's so frustrating. I don't want to keep on doing this over and over again until I get it perfect, so I'm just going to go Nimpo happy. Like I said, oh, the fucker's going to do a suicide attack on me. God damn, those piss me off. I hate the dogs. Can't tell you how much. Anyways, I'm going to end this chapter with 800 plus thousand essence, so screw it. I'm just going to take out these cheap enemies with cheap tactics and say, fuck you. Okay, now see right back in this little alcove back here, I'm not getting hit at all by exploding arrows. They're trying to shoot me, but that trees protects me. You can see they're, they're trying to hit me with them, and the normal their aim is unbelievable, but back in this area, those archers are not going to hit me. So, let's keep on doing this over and over again. Here's the other tactic again, just jump around the area. 360 lunar attacks, you can also do... Um, Dragon Sword, Flying Swallows over and over again. Either way will work. I just want to get this fight over because I think the dogs are 
They are not fun for me to fight whatsoever. Okay, dogs are dead. I only used three Nimpo. I'm going to get two Nimpo or two Mushrooms back and at the end of the IS Ninja fight coming up just before Genshin, so I might as well go ahead and put those in. Okay, now just wait here and the archers will come at you one at a time. Take them out however you want, but stay in this area right behind that tree and their arrows won't hit you. So I've got the Windmill Shuriken, going to show you the UT with him. That's great, just completely beheads him. Next guy, there should be only one more left. I'm just going to do one of my favorite overall attacks. It's going to be 